Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to bypass the wiring to the ballast for this um, under cabinet kitchen light. Um, there's a lot of videos on how to do this. And the only reason why I'm making today's video is because I wanted to provide something that's hopefully useful to a viewer who has the exact same wiring as what I'm about to show you. Um, I looked through a lot of videos and there's all different wire combinations and I had to kind of pick information from each of the videos, understand some of the concepts that are being explained and then apply it to my wire combination. But again, the purpose of this video is I want to show you what this wire combination looks like. And if this is exactly what your wire combination looks like, then great. This video is for you. If not, you know, you can move on to another video. So that's why I'm actually titling the video um, blue wiring on one side, red wiring on the other. And I'll show you what I mean. Is. Okay, when you bypass the ballast and you get a new light bulb, uh, you're getting, of course, an LED light bulb. They don't sell fluorescent anymore. And that's the whole reason why you're bypassing the ballast is make sure you get the direct wire um, light bulb. And, and that's what this is. I just wanted to show you um, the light bulb. Pay attention. It will have a live side and a neutral side. It actually has an L for the live and N for the neutral. And you'll see how that will uh, work into our wiring in a second. Or once I'm done rewiring it. So we're going to start by just removing the plastic cover here. Push in each side, push in and pull it out. Very simple. And then uh, half turn comes out. Wiring and ballast is under here. Little uh, metal uh, protrusion here. Just push in, push in, pull down. And here we are. And this is, uh, again, I just want to get to it. This is what I was talking about. My wiring, here's the ballast. Red wires, live wires, all on one side, blue wires, uh, neutral wiring, all on, on the opposite side. These are the tombstones I was referring to. And then we have um, your normal uh, black hot wire. Um, you also he hear me refer to interchangeably hot wire, live wire. And then the, um, the white wire is the, um, the neutral. So anyways, if this is what your setup looks like, then this video is for you. I also wanted to add that this lighting here is controlled by two different switches. So again, um, if that sounds like your lighting fixture and, and how things are working for, for your light, then hopefully this video is helpful to you. I'm just going to begin by just actually removing the ballast. All right, it's just two small nuts that are holding this on. obviously self-explanatory that's it next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the wiring that's connected to the ballast here cut the blue cut the red I'll cut these same wires. I'll show you how to rewire it and we'll be done. I have two wires, two red wires going to one tombstone, two blue wires going to the other. Um, and I just wanted to, again, make this video just in case your situation is the exact same. Cutting the reds, like I mentioned. Cutting the blue. And then we have the black and the white going to the actual ballast. Right. Um, just to make things a little easier, these tombstones, they just slide in and out. So just to kind of make it easier to work, we're just going to strip these.
And then these two wires are going to go to the black live wire. Okay, so you're going to have all three together. This is the uh, the amount that I've removed from the from the wire. And that's done. What you'll next see me do is exact same thing for the blue. We're going to reconnect these three, the two blue wires to the one white wire. All right, so that's it. Um, we're going to, we had our red over here, so it looks like we got to give ourselves a little more slack. All right, remember I told you they just slipped. All right, then we have the blue. This, I need to tighten this down a little bit. I didn't mess with this one, but it's a little loose, so I might as well tighten it down. Real quick, um, just in case anyone asks, wants to know, I didn't get into shunted or non-shunted tombstones. These are um, non-shunted tombstones. If you want to learn more about that, plenty of videos. Again, the purpose of this one is to help a beginner understand which wires go where. That's all I care about. I don't need to know, you know, um, the details of all the different parts. But again. Um, these are non-shunted tombstones. All right. Now we're just going to push this back in. I had to kind of bend some of the wires to get it to, to slide back in. Push it in. Push it in. Make sure these are still as they should be. They are. Okay, so now we're going to put the new LED bulb. If you'll remember, the red wires, the black wire, which is a live wire, was on this side. And you heard me talk about the L that's on the end of the light bulb. So we're going to put that side on the left. You know, let's do this. Half turn. Once it's in there, we'll go ahead and uh, before I put the cover on, we'll turn on the power and we'll, we'll give it a test. And real quick, and I just realized as I said that I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, but I think, um, well, I would hope that if you're ever messing with any type of electrical work and you're a beginner and you don't have experience with um, electricity and wiring, always turn off the breaker that powers that section of the house. So. Should have said in the beginning, but again, kind of um, hopefully common sense at this point. Okay, I turned the electricity back on, and as you can see, the light works. Uh, went ahead and already tested the two different switches that, that power these, these uh, cabinet lights. Um, I didn't go into a whole lot of detail, like I mentioned earlier. The, the intent is simply, if this is the type of under cabinet light you have, if your wiring looks like, like mine did, you see how simple it is to remove the ballast, um, direct wire the the lights, and uh, put yourself a new LED tube light. So hopefully you found this useful. Take care, everyone.